Just want to say a quick thank you to the guys on the Vintage Mustang forums. Uh, I'm going to try to get that taper out this morning, uh, and I'm going to film it so I can uh, share the wealth of knowledge that I got from the forums. And um, and just as to say thank you to those guys for giving me some feedback on how best to handle this stuck taper situation. So the background is I uh, over-torqued the nut on the new uh, tie rod end and it stripped the nut so I had to cut the nut off and, uh, and then I cut the tie rod off on the other side so now I have a little taper, a little taper stuck inside the hole in, a, uh, in my spindle and I got asked on the Vintage Mustang forums for some advice and those guys gave me a lot of good ideas and I'm going to try a few of them today and hopefully one will work. So wish me luck. All right, first suggestion was uh, <clears throat> basically hit it on both sides at the same time, both sides of the of, of the uh, spindle arm here with a hammer. I'm going to try it once with pressure too, but first I'm just going to try this. not getting us anywhere. Let me see if I can get some pressure on it. Okay, now um, I got a socket on the bottom, a big one, and a small socket on top that's putting a little bit of pressure on it. I can't get too much pressure on it because this clamp sucks and if I tighten it anymore, it's going to fall off. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I took that off and it hasn't moved at all. Um, hmm. I need to find a way to put some pressure on the top. The, the by the way, the the uh, tie rod end attaches to the bottom, so the taper goes up. So I got to push it down. So uh, let me see if I can get some more pressure on this. Well, I figured. Um, before I uh, try to put some more pressure on it, I'm going to uh, heat it up and see what happens. So I got my map, tap, map gas torch here. It's going to burn all the paint off of it probably, but small price to pay, I think. Beats. Nothing. Okay, here's the <laughs> the next uh, slightly insane thing that we're gonna try that I uh, jerry rigged. I took my bench vise off because it's the only uh, clamp that I have that doesn't turn here because I just don't have the right tools for the job. But this will allow me to uh, put a lot more pressure on it than that clamp. So. I got it all lined up here, but I haven't started cranking it yet, so let's see what happens here. <clears throat> it's got quite a bit of force on it already. <clears throat> so what I'll do 
do is I'll get a bunch of force on it and then give it a whack. See what happens. Let's see if I can get a little more. It's kind of hard to get leverage on without turning the vise. Let me get a pipe in a minute. All right, I got a pipe up here on the top and a crescent wrench on the bottom so I can put a little bit more force on it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it don't break anything. Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Let's see if we can see anything. It might be going down. Let's give it a whack and see what happens. I think it's going down. It's going. Put a little more pressure on it. Definitely going. Give it a couple more wax. See where we're at. Wow. It didn't go at all. Holy shit, really? It hasn't moved one bit. Hasn't moved at all. Guys, it looks and looks like the socket is sitting kind of crooked. Not sure what's causing that. Well, that's weird. Now the uh, socket. It's hot.
thing just will not die. My camera will. I was sitting on the floor here and I had the vise up on there. So I had a small socket on the top of the taper and a big socket on the bottom and then the vise gripped onto it and then I started heating with the map gas torch and I heated for about six minutes before the thing just went pop and <laughs> the damn thing fell on my foot and hurt me. Not too bad, but <laughs> yeah. All right, we're out. So mission accomplished. Thank you to the guys on the Vintage Mustang Forums, you're a lifesaver. Peace.